and the book. Normally, it's $50. For your listeners, if they purchase tonight, it's going to be $40. Amen. You get the book and the cookie jar. And it's normally together like a $69 value. Oh, so wow. to get that for $40, I would say run, <laughs> run. And not only just to get it for yourself, this is the perfect gift for newlyweds. It's the perfect gift for an anniversary gift just because, baby, I'm sorry, sweetest day. And it's not just for the guy to the woman, it's for the women to the guy because it's a win-win on both sides. I wanted to create something that was good for both sides, and I get chest bumps from a lot of guys on this one. Yeah, and you know, the thing about it is that, you know, the, the, um, the information in there, it's kind of fun uh, when you play around with that as well. So, baby, go to your next question uh, for, um, I guess. Okay, this is going to Nicole. Ooh. Back to the mic, going to Nicole <laughs> here. Okay, it was a scripted question, and don't supposed to be saying it, but why do you believe a relationship need to have something to spice it up to keep it successful? I why can't you just be like all the other married couples and be boring and drawn out and tired? <laughs> you can't. When I think about it, I think about the fact that if I'm with this person for the rest of my life, it will be pure H-E double hockey sticks if I think that that person is never going to give me all the things that I want in a relationship. So to me, it's one of those things like the things that I did in the beginning in order to get him and the things that he did to get me, we should still be willing to do that kind of stuff. Or like for most women, most women get comfortable and settled. I looked at myself in the mirror one time. I was like, oh, no, this ain't hot no more. So for me, to him, that was a gift to me. Like, okay, let me get myself back to the point where he first fell in love with me. So it's just doing stuff like that. Okay, Damon, you feel the same way? Yeah, I mean, to me, a, a, two people are going to change. Nothing stays the same. When I met her, things changed. So as a man, you have to constantly, like, keep discovering, keep learning, keep seeking out. You know, I it's like I feel like I need to write a book or something on her so I can, you know, study every detail. And that's how you keep it hot. It's not that... You got to keep the spice. It's that you have to continue to know them and learn them. So that's what, you know, I'm trying to work on myself. So, Steve, talk to me. Aww. What do you think that you got to do to, you know, to, to tell some people out there, we, you've been married for like 21 years, and it, obviously you and your wife have a nice relationship with each other since you've got erotic cookies <laughs> going on over here. Tell some people out there about what they can do to keep their relationship spicy. Uh, overall, I think first off is just communication. Talk, 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 talk. And, fellas, I know sometimes talk, 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 <clears throat> talk. <laughs> talk, talk, talk. You know, yeah. is, but, but being honest, sometimes I think the most uh, erotic thing you can do is just listen to your woman talk. Yeah. And, I, I mean, really listen and I just mm. say, uh-huh, 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 baby. Yeah. But listen and respond. Mm. Now, yeah. there has to be a limit now. <laughs> but nonetheless, you know, just talking, communicate, have fun, do what you did when you both fell in love. Just get back to the basics, get back to the foundation of things and just work things out. Never go to bed angry. Talk things out. Move on. All right, Miss Cynthia, you got something you want to add on to that? And um, always think of creative, creative things to do with each other. It's like think that you – you are the person that I decided to spend my whole entire life with. There's nothing I wouldn't do with you or for you. So just think of a whole bunch of to-do things to check off your list because I didn't get married to die. I got married to live, and I plan to go through everything with my husband. I like that. Hey, baby, oh, tell the I people about <laughs> your, you know, what you do to keep it interesting. And uh, you've been married for 20 years to some guy. So let them know about, <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, what you do to uh, keep the spices. You want me to tell them about the some guy or you? Uh, you can tell them about either one. That's the same person. Okay, well, you yeah. put it out there like I'm still in the alley now. Yeah. Well, I don't know. No, I took you out of there a long time ago. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm really glad I love you. <laughs> what do I do to keep it interesting? Besides with me and you, we battle each other's minds. I think that's what we do to keep it interesting. Because mm-hmm. like I said, when you want me to role play, you know I can role play. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And you want yes. me to put that blonde? No, you say red hair. I don't yeah. know why you want me to put that I don't know red where the blonde or red. You look, know you know, I like that song that says, I love you just the way you are. Oh, you yeah. ain't got to change nothing, girl. Okay, because, and since you're saying that, uh-huh. I'm sorry. I just want to, I know you could rap to me, baby, but I want to hear you really rap. This Ooh. is your moment to rap. Go ahead. Say, okay, sing, so, give so us it, something. Go ahead, man. Don't put me. Okay, you know, oh wait, if you got to take that much time now, <laughs> you should be spitting it out like, you know. <laughs> okay, okay, this is this from a song I got called Footprints, you know. 
fresh out of college. I was on E. They busted out my window. Now how I'm going to eat? That's going to be 50. Plus they took my CDs. They ain't have to take the bootlegs. That's just being greedy. Ticket stacking up. I just laughed it off. Then they booted it up. How I'm going to get that off? Matter of fact, they can have it. Wasn't even worth it. I was self-employed, but I wasn't really working. So I took a website and a portfolio. If they don't know me now, well, they going to know me, though. If I left now, I would have nothing to show. So now it's time for me to straight up open up some doors. Then I got back on my feet. I ain't soaking in defeat. Enemy thought he had me, but it ain't over till I beat him. Spent a lot of late nights. Working on the art, but God told me to do it. It was like nowhere in the ark. So when the wave come, I'm ready for the Mavericks. Shooting for perfection. I don't aim average and I don't speak average. That ain't in my dictionary. So who want to draw? I'm talking Pictionary. Hey, all right. That hey, you know, awesome. you know, I used to, um, I, I told them this here. I used to uh, go to the that jail. That was and Reed, everyone. Dan I used to go to the jail in uh, East Moline. I used to bring these guys. Uh, people with me they used to do christian rap and i wanted to do it so bad but they called they told me when i, I tried they said your name is reverend no rap so <laughs> they let me know that i couldn't rap at all but hey that was great there you know uh to have Thanks. that so now nicole that must really spice it up for you right yeah <laughs> uh, i got i got a little catalog you know with yeah. about her you know? oh, okay. oh we got to make sure we get that out there yeah. hey real quickly as far as you know with uh you know spicing up relationship and telling people you know couples what to do you really need to understand that this person that you're with should be your best friend not only just your lover but someone you can trust you can communicate with let me just say this you can get mad and angry and frustrated with but you love them so much that that power of that love just conquers all and you can't even stay mad with them any longer. That is an erotic thing when you know that that person can get on your last nerves but yet you still want to be around them. You still want to be in the bed with them. You still want them somewhere in the house around them. Erotic is not just a physical. It has to be an emotional and a mental thing as well. You've got to stay in love with them for the rest of your life. That's why 21 years over here with Steve and Cynthia has lasted. It's not because of the erotic cookie, though it really helps. (laughs) (laughs) They had to have that kind of love for each other before the cookie came to pass. They had to have a vision to love each other first and then have a vision to help other people love each other. With Damon and uh, Nicole, they had to have a vision to love each other, to be at eight years. It ain't easy to make it eight years. It's really hard to make it for so long. And me and my wife, our vision of love is just simply just showing everybody everywhere we go, we love each other by holding hands and kissing each other and the way we look at each other. So I'm going to do this real quick with the guests over here because we're about to get ready to wrap it up. Tell me, Damon and uh, Nicole, when you're out in the street, what do people see about you that shows that you have a spice in your relationship? I think they see peace. Most of the time that I see married couples, even people who are dating, they're arguing. They're like at war or not talking at all. That's that's the problem I have. Like when we go out to the restaurants and stuff, you see people eating together yeah. and they're literally looking off. They're not having any yeah. kind of conversation. Yeah. And for us, it's like I'm excited to hear about yeah. what he has to say. I'm, I'm like the, his number one fan, and I think that's what people can see. Yeah, we really are best friends. You know, we, we laugh, we joke, you know, we play around, and I think that's key. Okay, Steve. I would simply just say just have fun. I mean, have fun, have good energy. Enjoy every moment you can, and just keep smiling while you can. And also, a lot of people say that we're very affectionate. They're, they ask us, how are you guys still so affectionate? You guys act like newlyweds because you're always touching or kissing or something like that. And also, we party together. We're both house heads. My husband used to mix at <laughs> Mendel, and I would be up there doing twirls. But, you know, we still, like I say, we just do everything together. All right, baby. Um, what I want to say with us, we laugh together. A lot of people don't know Rick is a jokester, and that's what keep me happy. And it does turn me on when I see the preacher just breaking it down, joking. But when he's singing, because my baby, you know you could sing. Yeah, uh, well, you know. <laughs> sing. I used to do Julia. Give me just something. Give, I ain't no, going to sing, though, right now. Stuff. We'll sing it. We'll <laughs> sing something later. I, I, you know, Damon had his time. They could hear me on concert. One of, no. I, <laughs> but, you know, one of the things I do like about our relationship is – you know, a lot of people, now the people here, they see me as joking at church. They see me extremely serious. So they don't know that there's both sides of each other. What I like about relationships and what we have is that we open up to each other and we show both sides. 
you know, uh, I, I, if my wife wants to cry, then I let her cry. You know, I'm, I can be rough sometimes, but when she got to cry, I cry. But then I cry, too. Yeah. I'm not afraid to be a man to show my emotions because this is my friend. This is my life partner. So you've got to be able to open up and share with people and let them know that I can be vulnerable with you. I can love you. And what they see about me and Brenda when we're out in the streets or we're at the church is that we're just normal people who love talking to each other, love talking to people, love sharing about marriage, and love keeping the spice in relationships. So that's what we're trying to get you all to do. If you're having some problems in your relationships, I hope you've listened to the show and you've learned some things. We've got some erotic cookies for you. Give me that information <laughs> one more time, Cynthia, where they can get those cookies at. www.TheEroticCookieJar.com And right now, if you call before the day is out, you can get those cookies and the book for $40, right? That is correct. And, 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 or have on Facebook. And okay. you can also Facebook it. You'll have it on Facebook. And I'm going to tell you something. Once you get the cookies and you get all these little cute little things inside that Tracy and Stowe man's already. <laughs> um, Tracy didn't do it. Uh, I got it, baby. Okay. I got it. Uh, oh. You're going to really get excited about buying some more of the cookie because not only is it good stuff inside, the cookies are good as well. Hey, we're going to get ready to wrap up our show in a few minutes. I want to thank my guests again. Thank them again, baby. Tell Ooh, us who the we guests were. We want to thank the Fitches. If I can say that, yes, right? Yes. Okay, we want to thank. Wow, you got me nervous, baby. Cynthia, <laughs> we want to thank Steve. We want to thank Damon. We want to thank Nicole. Is hey, we okay? want to thank all of them, and we want to thank you all for listening to as well. You've been listening to the Let's Stay Together show. This is your host, Reverend Rick McCain, along with my baby, my girl, my boo, Arthur Brittany McCain. Come back next week here and it's at 8 p.m. Tuesday for our next show. See you soon! Woo-hoo!